Let's go. So what's the what's the announcement for today? I'm very excited to to be here with this. Yeah. So um, I, I yeah I hope today was a good use of your time, Oliver, because I know, I know you just came off of a cold, but your radio voice still sounds amazing. I don't know how, but um, <laughs> but I we really appreciate it because today's a very important day for for Rad as this uh, yep. goes out because today's the launch of our number one most requested product ever. And really, that is the. It is. It's the number one most requested product wow. ever. And cool. um, it's it's many years in the making. And yep. it's also based off a lot of those early customer conversations I was having. And still today, anyone that works at RAD, if they pick up the phone lines or work in um, our stores, they get requests constantly um, for this. And so we've got a lot of exciting insights from the consumer that are baked into it. And it happens to not have two wheels. It, it, um, yeah, wow. This is the first vehicle ever for Rad that has three, and that is because this is the Rad trike that's coming out today. So, love um, it. Anyway, super excited to be able to you know be on the show and uh, and reveal it with you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you. And 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 so like I, it's funny. It, it's it's one of these things that uh, it fits like it it fits into our thesis about how micro mobility is going to evolve, which is that the world well uh there's like a cambrian explosion of different vehicle types right and that that, that that because the new new vehicles are actually like relatively easy to build you can kind of have um lots of different types that will emerge and that people will be able to build or get the vehicle that is most appropriate for their needs and so the trike form factor is one that i'm very excited about actually i think electric trikes have a, have a whole new area or a whole area that hasn't really been explored yet so can you talk me through uh, a bit more about the bike. Like, what what are we looking at? Um, what's what's kind of interesting about it? Like I said, it's been multiple years in the making. This is a category where it's just it's really been under um, undertaken care of, which is a, basically it's a customer that wants the high payload. So it's a four hundred and fifteen pound payload. Yep. Which which is so it's got this credible cargo capacity and also people that want more stability. So I don't think it's a very, we, what we've learned so far in all of our consumer research is that it's a pretty broad category. The requests we get are from everyone, from people that own small businesses um, to people that want to um, upgrade to a rad trike. Uh, maybe they would benefit from the stability. So they've got another rad model and they want to upgrade to it, or they want to buy the rad trike for someone else in their life um, who could also benefit from the stability or the added utility of, of it. So it's just also, I'd say it's incredibly fun to operate. I've been commuting on one at night in stealth mode. Um, <laughs> only, I can, I can get away with uh, riding a rad trike around uh, Seattle, but, yeah. Um, yeah. but, but it's just incredibly fun to ride too, because it's got a steel frame, which is the only steel bike in our lineup and that has mm. a lot to do with the payload capacity and also some of the vehicle dynamics. So it's really stable despite it being three wheels. It's incredibly stable because the weights set low and back and the frame can flex a little bit in corners. So I've just been having a blast commuting on it. So I can't wait to see people out riding them and, and trying a trike for themselves because it's a, uh, what we, what we coined the term internally is an unexpected joy ride. Yes, because yeah. you cool. wouldn't expect it, but it just lights your it lights a smile on your face. It feels like you're a kid again. Yeah, I um I ha I I used to have uh, someone in my family who who had um, Parkinson's, and so they uh it for them they used to ride a trike around because it was the only way that they could have that stability. And so I can you know your point earlier around you want to have vehicles that are accessible both in terms of price and in terms of um obviously design. I think it's incredibly important, but um you know. I'm curious how the, how you, like from a marketing perspective, who, who do you think will buy these? Like who, who are most likely to buy these in terms of those requests? When we met, so we met with James Gross, uh, in, in, um, in LA during, uh, our, our, our press tour there. And his quote was the one that we're hearing the most consistently. He's, he's going to say it a lot better than I'm going to say it now, but yeah. or he said a lot better than I'm going to say it now, but, uh, you know, he effectively said like, oh, I, there's, there's, there's a lot of people in my life that need this. And yeah. he's, he said, he's going to buy one to add to his fleet of ratty bikes down in Encinitas. Yeah. So that when he has, I think it was somebody in his family was going to come and visit and then they could all go ride together, which I think is such a cool thing. And so that's, I think, you know, one of the campaigns that we've been playing around with internally is also this term of rad together, which is how do you get the whole household out of a car and yeah, multi-generational totally. folks out of a car and 
small business owners even too, and people that need to carry their pets um, with them where they go, their, their furry, you know, four-legged friends. And, and so that's, I just, I think you said it really well when we started talking about the trike, which is just like, this is blurring the lines of, uh, of transportation and bringing people more options that have, and especially in areas that have been really underserved. Mm, mm. Um, in terms of the, the, the vehicle, what, so do you have a price point in mind? Uh, yeah, so it's going to be, it's going to go for, it's, go, it's available for sale starting today. Um, yep. mm-hmm. and it'll be, it'll begin shipping in the beginning of January. Yep. So very quickly here. Um, and it's available for test riding in all rad retail stores starting now as well. And I'm at the Brooklyn store, um, uh, Br- Brooklyn, New York store today. And the team was setting up trikes and getting them ready for test riding in store, which is, which is super exciting. And, um, and it's, anyways, it's incredible. It's packed full of incredible value it ships for free and it's only 24 99, which I think awesome. is a, so, so it's a leading price point in the category. Um, and so again, can't, can't wait for people to get on it and just see what the cost of, you know, less than the, the, they're spending on gasoline in a single year. Um, and for most people, they can get a fully loaded electric trike from Rad4. What we wanted to do first and foremost, we wanted to popularize three, three wheels because it fits within the electric bike classifications in all of our markets, which is wonderful. That's one of the big things about it. So like, I, I would even take this out to say like, why not four wheels? Why not? And th- three keeps things simpler. It's more value innovative as well. So it brings down some costs for the consumer as yep. well. So I think in terms of popularization, keeping a very accessible price points crucial, but, um, Anyways, we did. We went through every configuration of drive, powertrain, motor location, and where we landed. It just the the trike just operates like a all the benefits of a of a, a one of our classic two wheel electric bikes, but with the the added utility of three wheels and that stability. Um, but we didn't stop at just building a trike. So like the weight is very low. So you'll like notice the swept back angle of the seat tube, and the width of the rear wheels, it still fits through most um, exterior doorways, mm. which is crucial yep. for people to be able to bring it in and out. But it's it's just much, it's wider and much more stable than trikes that are on the market today, which I think a lot of trikes that are on the market today are more like, you know, very low. They should only be traveling at very low speed, sort of uh, almost like toy-like. And the Rad trike feels like a very heavy-duty piece of everyday transportation. And, um, one of those things that makes it feel that way is the reverse functionality, which is really fun. And so it's our first bike with a reverse. It's our first bike, um, or e-bike with a parking brake as well. Yep. So you can use the parking brake for getting on and off and you can use the reverse for getting out of tight spaces and, or parking in your garage. And, um, and so, you know, where, where we landed was um, optimizing around those features, uh, for the consumer, but. The thing I, w- I guess I want to highlight most is that this is a platform, the way that it's designed, that's got a very extremely low standover height, uh, step through height. So very yep. easy to get on and off, even if you have uh, mobility issues in your hips or knees, what have you. And it also goes down to riders that are uh, 410, 4 foot 10 and above. So it also goes, and then it's got very upright swept back handlebars that Rad custom built. And so this just provides this very comfortable upright experience. But why, why did I say platform? It's because it's highly personalizable, like highly customizable. Mm. So your friend has this Burmese mountain dog in the front of their, we can't carry a Burmese on the front of the rad trike, but it does have our universal front racking system and rear racking system. So you can put our large baskets and a pet carrier on the front and a pet carrier on the rear. So you can adjust it to whatever your lifestyle might, might need. And one, one of the things I really love is that the front, our racks also fit most of the most standard coolers as well. Oh, it's really? designed to fit yeah, them almost cool. perfectly and throw a bungee over the top. And so it's just a, a really great solution to run, running to the beach, running to the store, um, taking, taking your dog out to the park, um, or, or more, um, utilitarian applications like, um, you know, picking gear up at the hardware store.